Your loft wing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy's been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great. Because you and that dumb bird can't tell time. And all the pre-race warm-ups and the guys did... Uh, what, what? All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start. And they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flight gets special treatment. You're almost a man and you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. But you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Uh, Gris has been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one w Yeah, he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour and a ruffle about her. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust your adorable little fantasy land you're living in. I don't know what's wrong with my voice today, but I, you know, I'm gonna push through. <laughs> Zelda's playing the role of the goddess of the ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, there was no way I was going to let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh, yeah, that sailcloth. Zelda sailcloth. Will be mine. <laughs> oh, man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us? It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can... I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, gross. Psst, gross. Behind you. Right behind you. What? Can you see I'm in, I'm in the middle of... Uh... <laughs> Care to explain what you just meant by our special moment alone? I, uh, nothing big, really. Just, uh, just... Link, yeah, I was telling my buddy here how I was glad he found his red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Hey, Groose, wait up! Uh, did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down, I think you do too. Heck yeah, I do! Wait. Uh, come on, Link. Try to focus for once. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Link. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, press A to dash and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. 
Remember to call your bird promptly with down once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette with A will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. But do you need to hear them again? Nope. Yeah, excellent. As, well, as you all well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it is also the 25th anniversary of this fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion will, well, shall also receive his, high, uh, his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has created the gift herself. And, as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... The lovely Zelda. Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see a good, clean fly. Anyone caught interfering with another rider will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose. Alright, gentlemen. Line up. At, at my command, the competition will begin. Go! Hey everybody, it's Callum, and welcome back to more Let's Play Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we managed to find our Crimson Loftwing in the uh, the, the, the somewhere in Skyloft. I greatly apologize for the uh, the longest time without going... Jeez, uh, uh, I can't speak today. The longest time going without an intro for an entire video. <laughs> anyway, as you already may have guessed, we're on the... Oh my god, I can't speak today. We are trying to catch this golden loft wing down here and get the statuette it is holding. This section, really easy, really. As long as you've kind of, you know, as long as you've like mastered the control somewhat for the bird, it, it it's a lot easier. But first time playing this, I was stuck on it for about half an hour because I just couldn't control the bird properly. Oh, uh, my God. Come on. I like the music, though. Very, very nice music. I'm glad I've got the soundtrack for this game. Like, jeez. This game's music is beautiful, and you'll probably hear me gushing about it later on. But for right now, we've got to catch this loft wing. And it won't... Come on. Stay close. Whoa! What the heck happened there? Is that Groose? That was Groose. What the hell, man? Uh, wait, what, 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 what? Okay, bird's flying way too low. There we go. Come on. Get close. And catch. Hey! Don't you know this is my day to, uh, to get all the glory? Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with egg on your face. And now, they will be cheating. Eh, no one, everyone knew it was not going to be a fair race. Let's, let's be simple. Or let's be real, I guess. Nobody, nobody thought this was going to be a clean race. But there we <laughs> We almost got hit by an egg, but there we go, the bird statuette. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Link! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. Great flying, Link. Congratulations! Now, we'd better get on with the ceremony. Link, hand me that bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Thank you. 
Great Goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your steed during this ceremony. A valiant youth who grasped victory at the celebration of the bird folk. In accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft the sail, which I now pass on to you. Ruining the mood! You get the sailcloth. Now you can jump from any height without a fear of a painful landing. It smells nice too. Link, quit goofing around. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the sailcloth in time for today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Take care of it, okay? Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Link. Now, we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Uh-oh. And just what are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, Link. You have to jump off the statue. Look down. See that big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop right down into the center of it. Leap off the edge here. Right before you hit the ground, press B to open up your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. So ready to jump? Not like you give us a choice in the matter! And yes, we have to land right in the middle. It's not that hard. And I used it at the last second, just like she asked. Oh boy, I see you messed up. What? We landed in the design! Ugh. Alright, I'll try it again. Ugh, I landed. Ow. Yeah, I'm playing with headphones on, so that beeping is freaking amplified for me. Whoa, 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 get back, 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 get back. Damn it. Note self. Do not run off the statue quite as bad as I just did. Just have a small, no, no, have a small little run up. Hold back on the Wii Remote. Lean for, lean forward, lean forward. Sail cloth. There we go. I did it. <laughs> that was perfect. You're amazing, Link. You know, Link, seeing as how you won today, and with the weather being so nice, you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Link! Hey, Link! Today was amazing! Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I will always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> you 
you know, Link. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What is that? What's going on? Link. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Link. When your Loftwing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you do not appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? A black tornado, you say? Mm, that was no ordinary storm. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem... off? I see. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak is yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Link. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there, alive. I know it. We hear a mysterious voice in the middle of the night. Let's go check it out! The figure we saw in our dreams. Let's go check it out! I mean, I'm, I'm joking. Despite the, prof uh, the principal's orders to not leave the academy, and to not even leave our room. Are being quickly dismissed. 
but it's for a good cause. I hope. We must follow this figure into the night. And it seems that she's leading us to the goddess statue. Uh, my... God damn it. <laughs> you just have to ruin a dramatic moment, don't you, Nunchuck? Okay, there we go. My Nunchuck just wanted to ruin a dramatic moment. But as you can see, the goddess statue is locked during the night time. We're being led down this way. A way we have never actually been before. And hey look, there's a remlet. Of doom. Hit it with our sword, it runs away and hides. We pick it up. It's trying to claw our face. Let's throw it to its doom. But of course, one thing about the remlets is that they have big ears to fly back up to the surface if they ever do fall. Uh, there's a treasure down there, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Of course, I'm gonna get that. Redundant explanation. Then there's a chew down here. Hopefully, I can get some material. No. Wait, do I already have jelly blobs? I do. I have a jelly blob. Okay. Didn't know that. Get rid of the remlet. Remlets can die, so don't feel bad. Oh, actually, I should let go and wait for my stamina to come back. Jump up. And just swing across. And continue to follow this figure into the night, be interrupted by some keys. You, again, didn't drop what I want you to drop. Keys drop items that are actually quite good later on because they do become quite scarce. But we have no idea of knowing if that keys dropped anything because it just dropped into the void. Make our way up here. We have more jelly blobs. I don't see why people complain about the controls here. They're really not that bad. And we're finally up here. By the statue of the goddess. I hear a jelly blob. You're ruining the tranquility with your monster noises. And you didn't even drop an item. Oh well, let's walk inside. We're inside the statue of the goddess. The one chosen by my creator. I will have I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Phi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is a bird uh, that is your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must take up the sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it's your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, 
uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some ex apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share, your, share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honourable Zelda, is still alive. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen and fated, fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword. Raise it skyward. He got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete, master. Link, my master. Link. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the Youth of Legend would one day disappear. I mean, would one day appear. Sorry. It is said that this place was left to our people by the Goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with some handful words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear it, for it is then when, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. That sword that I've kept secret all these years, it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword, there was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed of the prophe I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. One who is also useful in likeness, yet wise in knowledge immeasurable. Oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage you have, uh, have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he will soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land.
some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world down there, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through the journey that you will fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the Spirit Maiden. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it in the altar behind me. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in the room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blaze, your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have fully charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the cloud barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you on your travels. Link, listen a moment. The nature of this great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this Fi says is true, Zelda is alive, alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is that the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link, especially down there. But if you decided to be brave, uh, if you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defy defies explanation. But it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends true. You do your people proud, Link. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link. And those clothes? They don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race today should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey, you better change before you go.